just almost like a perfect movie. <laughs> Definitely an essential. Really nice movie, I think. Really good movie. Yeah. Wonderfully directed by Irving Rapper, who directed several of Betty's films. Yes. But, you know, I don't think anybody ever directed Betty Davis better than William Waller. Oh, I, I absolutely agree with you. Mm. Um, Jezebel and The Letter and... The Letter, oh, wow. The Letter is, is, is exquisite piece yeah. of work. And Little Foxes. Yeah. And that was all Weiler. And he, he seemed to have the ability to take her energy, which is, you know, she's this life force, this energy, and, and constantly sort of bring it down so that it's si simmering inside and not simmering on the outside of her. I, in this movie, um, for instance, I'm, I'm a huge fan of Gladys Cooper, mm -hmm. but in this film, I thought Gladys Cooper needed to be, not brought down, but there needed to be some gradations of her evilness, you know, of her insensitivity. I would have liked her to find some, even if they were all insensitive, but some gradations and changes in how she illuminated her insensitivity, mm -hmm. you know. Hadn't thought of that. I think she's such a such a powerful actress. Such a powerful actress. And, you know, one of the great beauties, actually, yeah, of her yeah, time. Yeah, I loved her. And work. they were great friends. Betty yes, Davis I, and Gladys I read Cooper. That. I read that. Yeah. It's an interesting look also early on at what um, the, the science was, or lack thereof, of science of psychiatry at the time. Because that was all brand new then. It was brand new, and it seemed, uh, those of us now who, who know what that's about, we look at it and go, what? That's the strangest way of going about things. Uh -huh. um, it asks you to suspend a lot of beliefs in a lot of things that that one night of a little romance yeah. in, a, in a car accident yeah. you know is going to change your whole life well who knows you, yeah <laughs> depends on who's in that car with you i guess i guess so those kinds of romantic films you sort of have to suspend yeah. you know reality and a go along bit with and it just kind of go with it yeah um, and of course the magnificent shot it's it's one i will always have in my mind of her coming off the boat yes. when we haven't seen her transformation. That's What's so interesting, there's stills from that movie of scenes in which you see her undergoing the transformation, mm -hmm. where they're putting her eyebrows yeah. on and all that. And obviously they saw that and realized they didn't need that. Yeah. It really got in the way of it. Well, yeah, because you wouldn't have that wonderful dramatic surprise right. of... of you know, and, and the it camera's starting at the time. bottom and going yeah. up. Yeah. Beautifully done. Yes, indeed. So I'll see you again right here next week? Yes, you will. Okay. So please join us again next week for more Essential Viewing. Here's a preview of what we have in store. The Nun Story, 1959. If anyone ever doubted that Audrey Hepburn was a serious actress, look at The Nun Story. Fred Zenman only made really great movies, but this is one of the very best. I don't think there is another movie that's even a little bit like The Nun Story. It's a film I don't think would be made in Hollywood today. From 1959, The Nun Story. That's next Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can find out more at tcm.com essentials. Thanks for joining us for The Essentials.